Okay, we'll be uh, taking a look at a UN70TU7000F. Uh, it has a uh, no picture, has sound, and all we see is a blue flashing screen on and off, on and off. see what the screen looks like. Power it on. Let's see nothing happened just now. It flashes very very fast. So it's trying to turn it on and off. It flashes so fast you barely can catch it. That's all we have. It's a blue flash screen and then the flash is off. Flash is on and off very quickly. So, in order to open this guy, I start, start at the top corner and get up under the bezel, up under the little back cover and just pop it up. This snaps up under there. That, uh, it's not like you're breaking the TV, but you actually have to snap these things. Sometimes I go that way first, sometimes I go halfway down this way and then that way. And I just go by field. So if once I get it pried, popped open a little bit, I try to hold it open with my hands or another pair, another tool. Sometimes when it's real easy, you can just slide right down. I always go the way the easiest. If, if this was hard going this way, I'd have went down the other way. Whatever is easy, that's the way I go. Okay. Leave that up. Try to keep it up until I get to the other side. Go down the other side. Sometimes this plastic is old and it'll break on you. So you gotta be careful with that too. Plastic dry rod. Okay. Just stuck right around this area right here. Just lift up a little and it'll come free. Lift up evenly. And I get on one of these corners and I try to just work it slowly. That way I don't crack the bottom. Whatever side comes up, sometimes I get up on it and hit it up with my hand. Sometimes that works too. So just gotta be patient. Let the rest you can break. Come on now. This is this is really stuck here. So I pushed down and pulled up on this one. Most times it just pops free. This one was kind of stubborn. All right, just lift it straight up and off. All right. So. I see some some uh, brown browning smoke going up there, but I doubt the power supply is bad. But well, the LEDs could be bad too. I do see something that's it's very faint. It's usually darker. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug. Let's bring the, bring the camera closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna unplug the main board control of the power supply. And I wanna see if the LEDs come on and stay on. If they don't do, then I know the LEDs and the power supply is fine. So that's the first thing I want to do. So basically, if you plug the power in with that disconnected, the LEDs should come on, and they are. The LEDs are staying on, so our issue is something else. You know, if you can see, you can see the light coming through. If I, if I bring it closer, 
You see that there's light coming through. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is unplug power. Know the power supply board good, and LEDs are good. And reconnect the control, main board control, and I am gonna disconnect the panel from the main board and plug it back up and see if it powers up and has sound. First, first I'll see if it powers up on its own and it look like it, it is and there's sound. And turn the sound up some so we can really hear it. Just unplug it, plug it back up. Came on. And you can hear the sound. And LEDs on, so that lets me know there's a problem with the panel, more than likely. More than likely not with the main board. The fact that I have sound and the TV turns on and off and responds. Uh, if I check um, the optical, if the optical is red, that also tells me the main board is probably okay. I can try another main board and the optical is fine. So the next thing I want to do is check some voltages that drives the panel. See if any of those voltages is being pulled down or see if they are even present. So there's this a couple of uh, coils I'll go to and see if I can point you to them. You'll be able to see what I'm about to check. Check a couple of these coils right quick. See if they got anything on them. That one has 1.8. This one has nothing. Has nothing on either side. Completely dead. And the caps, the caps are dead too. The diode has nothing. Nothing on that diode. 1.9 on that diode. Nothing. Okay, 3.3, .3, we're supposed to have that. So the voltages to dry the panel is non-existent. There's my 12 volts. 12 volts. Okay, so voltage that dry the panel aren't there and that's because it doesn't see the panel. Um, so I can assume that the main board is bad and swap it out and put another one in and see if, if that fixes the problem. Um, the main board has always had the tag on at 700 DF instead of 7,000 even though it's a 7,000. And it's been my experience. I've, I've replaced lot, lots of main boards on these TVs. And it always turns out to be a bad panel and not the main board. Um, sometimes there's a, a trick you can do. You can put a, a cover a couple of these pins with tape and and the TV may stay on. If it stays on, then you know the, that the panel was the issue. But the TV is on right now and the panel is disconnected, so that's another thing to let you know the panel is the problem. Okay. Being that I have the TV already open, I'm going to try to cover a couple of pins right quick and see what happens. I'm just cutting a piece of tape and I'm going to put it directly on the uh, on the TCOM board. I mean, not the TCOM board. The uh, well, it was like the TCOM, the cable that goes into the panel. And I'm just guesstimating. I see one pin that's kind of dark right up in here. 
I think that might be it. It has a dark, like it uh, may have seen some heat. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just take a shot in the dark and, and cover that, see what happens. Take a shot, shot in the dark. Let's unplug this. Plug that back up. And let's see what happens. It tried coming on and I seen the flash. So actually it did come on. Look at that. I know you think I'm magic. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm magic. That's the craziest thing. But believe it or not, it works. Okay, so I, I chose, I didn't count the pins or nothing like that. I can literally see a black scarring on one of the pins. So it probably burnt and seen a lot of heat. So I'm, we're gonna see what this picture look like. Let me uh, back this camera up or some. And yes, you've seen it. I put a piece of tape on the daggone ribbon cable. Uh, I got other videos with another model, 6900, where I'm doing the same thing. Uh, let's see what the picture looks like here. The picture is ugly. But the reason why it looks like this is because we have a bad panel. Very bad panel. And if you love your TV, you probably just jump around from area to area until you can get the uh, picture to come on, but the picture won't look right. So this TV is not repairable. If you have the same problem, your TV is not repairable. So you may try to get your TV re uh, replaced under warranty if it's less than a year. Other than that, that's that. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell button or notifications if you want to be notified of my next video.